Talented street musicians from around the globe captured on film. Combined, their voices can be truly magical, and it sounds something like this. Videos like that one are the work of Playing for Change, a nonprofit organization dedicated to building music and art schools for children around the world. The street musician videos have become a global sensation, touching millions of lives. The movement is designed to connect people around the world, unifying them and bringing peace through the power of music. And joining us now to share their musical journey are the foundation's founders, philanthropists, and filmmakers, Whitney Kronke and Mark Johnson, and we want to welcome both of you to Full Frame. And it's so fantastic watching that video, but I was troubled because I was watching the video, but then I was watching the two of you, and Mark, you're like this, and you're laughing. I mean, it brings joy just watching it, doesn't it? I mean, and I'm sure both of you have seen it a million times, right, Mark? Yeah, I was actually reliving it as I'm watching it. How about reliving you? Traveling to How all about you, Whitney, um, I mean, when you watch I it? Have, for having seen these videos literally thousands of times, it still brings like a true joy to my heart and I still put a smile on my face every time so so Mark how was this born how was this I mean a lot of times there are ideas but then to actually make it happen how did it happen well I mean originally playing for change it was born with a question you know how can we find one thing to unite and inspire people all over the world you know we live in a world that has a lot of division your race your religion your politics how much money you have and we wanted to find something that could inspire people to look past all that to transcend that so we decided to hit the streets and started by recording and filming street musicians, first across America and then with Stand By Me around the world. And we just saw so much talent and so much soul. And we realized that great music, great art, they're just moments in time. You can harness the energy from those moments and you could connect people deeper and make people feel more connected as a human race. That was the birth of PFC. And Whitney, mm -hmm. Mark speaking your language, but how do the two of you come together and how do you know, I mean, how do you guys connect in such a way? And it's like, oh wow, that's exactly what I'm thinking. We, um, Mark and I met back in 2001 through a mutual friend of ours who had, who, through com conversations with the both of us, had realized that we both had a real interest in street musicians and street performers. And we were both really interested in the removal of the fourth wall and how brave these performers were and how much talent there was out there on the street. And in taking people off the street, sometimes you lose that immediacy and the beauty of those moments. So we wanted to go out and put ourselves in that environment and try and to take some of that energy with us, take it on the road and, and spread it around the country and then around the world. Mark, mm -hmm. you mentioned Stand By Me. Let's watch a little bit of this and then I want to get you guys on the backside to talk about it. <laughs> No matter how much money you got, all the friends you got, you gon' need somebody to stand by you. When the night has come and the land is dark and that moon is the I love that song. I think everybody loves that song, but yeah. there's there's something about the quality of it performed by them that's so different and so unique. Speak to me about that, Mark. 
Well, I mean, I think the, uh, you know, the original um, start of Stand By Me was here in Los Angeles, in Santa Monica, California. I was walking to the recording studio, and I heard the street musician Roger Ridley singing the song. I was a few blocks away from him. I ran over to watch the end of his performance. And I remember asking him, you know, if I come back with some recording equipment and cameras, we'd like to travel the world, put headphones on musicians, and add them to the song. He looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> but he said, hey, if you come back, I'll play the song. And when I came back, I said, Roger, with a voice like that, why are you singing on the street? I mean, he sounded like Otis Redding. Mm -hmm. And he said, man, I'm in the joy business. I come out to bring joy to the people. And that's really been the source of this project ever since. Use music to bring joy to people all over the world. Talk to me about that joy for you. What for, is it? How do you describe it? For me, the most powerful part about the process and the journey of Playing for Change has been to see how music is the big, you, can be one of the great uniting forces and is one of the great uniting forces in humanity. And so when you're performing a song together or singing a song together or playing on a song or listening to a song, it's a really shared relationship. It's a reciprocal relationship. And it's one that speaks from the heart to the heart and it really gets people out of your head. So whether that's a live performance or watching it recorded, it's a really intimate exchange as well as like a very large exchange. So it's inclusive and and singular at the same time. Okay. You, you say to him, I'm going to go around the world, I'm going to get you first. And you did go around the world, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, how many places did you go to get that? I think Stand By Me was about 10 different countries. And the idea was to put all these different cultures and types of musicians together so somebody could see someone that they relate to, connect with somebody maybe they didn't relate to, and by the end of the video, they're going to be more connected. Playing for Change Band. Uh, talk to us about that. How many members? How did it come about? Okay. Playing for Change Band, that came about um, around 2008, right around that same mm -hmm. time. You know, as we were traveling, the idea was we also wanted to build something, build a family, so to speak, all over the world. So we would take time to listen to the musicians and their families and their friends. They'd invite us in their homes, feed us. So we really wanted to give something back. So we decided to create the Playing for Change Foundation. And in order to build our first music school mm -hmm. in the exact same spot where the gentleman's playing upright bass in the Stand By Me video, in Gugaletu Township, South Africa. So we decided to hold a benefit concert to raise the funds to build the school. And we decided let's bring a bunch of these musicians who had never met in person, had only met through the videos. Let's put them together on the stage. And literally it was just magic to see all these different cultures come together. Each one had their own success in their own way. They put that aside to become something, create something bigger. And we just saw this magic and we realized this is what the world needs to see, this tangible example of all these countries and cultures uniting together on the stage. And that's how you change the world. It's, it's one heart, one song at a time. And so the Playing for Change band is, is really the Playing for Change ambassadors where they travel the world as a touring band. They visit homeless shelters and children's hospitals and make sure people realize music is more than just entertainment. And that's really what the Playing for Change band represent. They've played over 250 concerts ever since then. And, uh, and now it's a band of 12 musicians from 10 different countries. Wow, wow. And then and we're always adding guests as we travel around the world. And you were talking about the schools. I mean, mm -hmm. talk to me about the schools, because it's, it's one thing to, to bring these people together, mm -hmm. come up with music, and then have, you know, the emails galore mm -hmm. and everything spreading. But then to take it and create something out of that that's even bigger, mm -hmm. uh, that's got to be special, too. Yeah, it's really, really been such an awesome experience to go back into the communities cause that we started recording in and to help them to build our, their own schools and, or start their own programs and work with the community on the curriculum and how every country is different with what they want to teach. I mean, some schools teach everything from music to life skills and some, you know, some, one of our programs in, in Nepal is working on, you know, sex, the sex slave trade and child slavery, using the arts to teach the children in these rural vi villages about that. So it's all really individualized and really powerful. And it's just giving sometimes just people a nudge to say, you can do this. You know, here's some instruments and they and then watch them take it and run with it is really awesome. Whitney, one of the things I think I, I really liked about what you said was that, well, they may teach this here and they may teach mm -hmm. this here. Um, it's important. I, I think sometimes when we talk about philanthropy, it's mm -hmm. cookie cutter. Let's go mm -hmm. in and we'll do this here and it, and it works well here. So we'll do it here. And we'll transfer. Mm -hmm. But 
they're involved, they're engaged, and that's important, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, well, always from the beginning, Playing for Change has been about the relationships that we have with the musicians. It's very personal, as Mark said earlier. You know, we've been invited into their homes. They've shared, you know, stories with us and food and tea, <laughs> tea bags when they have none, you know, and you're, and it's a mutual respect and it's a mutual love. And so when we decided to go back in, the last thing we wanted to do to go back into these communities and say, here's what we think you should do, because that's very presumptuous of us. We said, how can we help you do something that you've been wanting to do for a long time? You know, so that's been our, our um, goal all along. There's the great song by Joni Mitchell, I can't mm -hmm. think of the name of it, about the street musician performing and everyone walks by him and, and he's so phenomenal mm -hmm. and yet they pay to come and see her perform. Um, what's that lesson? I mean, that song's kind of, really kind of crystallizes mm -hmm. what you're all about mm -hmm. in many ways. Right, I mean, well, when you look at Stand By Me and you think about it, all three of the lead singers were all street musicians and they're the three best singers in the world for that version of that song. So maybe it's about redefining what is success. Because every day these musicians go out there and they connect to everybody who walks by and there's no filter between them and their audience. And to me, that's what music is all about, human connections. So I think we could learn a lot from seeing that street musicians uh, and any musician really, that they're giving you the opportunity to be more positive in the world we live in and to use this as inspiration and hope. Whitney, what's mm -hmm. the message you want to convey to our viewers about all of this, this whole experience for you and, and... I think it's important from a personal level to just to, to just be open to, like you said, veering off of the main path and following, you know, the side street that might turn into the, the main path. That's been very key to how the evolution of our project. And I also think it's just important, you know, we always said this from the beginning, like stop and listen. You know, take the time to stop and listen, whether it's to someone playing music, someone speaking, you know, take the time to make that human connection. I think that's the way that we're going to go forward as a human race is just with connecting with each other. Well, we're going to stop and listen. Uh, we <laughs> have a tune we want to play, and I'm not sure I'm going to pronounce it right. So, Mark, maybe you could set it up for us. Sachita, is that how you say it? Sachita. 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 Give us a little intro <laughs> to it, and then we'll go to okay, it. Okay, we started this song from Brazil. And it's a, originally it's a mantra from India and we took it all around the world. Let's listen. Peça a Deus que os homens encontrem os seus passos perdidos e que os sonhos despertem esses olhos dormidos que o amor transporte e vivamos em paz. Que os dias terminem com os braços cansados E que a sorte só queira estar ao teu lado Que a dor não me assombre Fantastic stuff. Thanks again for coming in. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so us. much.